Hello, this is Aya Kabarinelli, your Abundant Life Coach, here to share another success tip with you. Have you ever thought about the words that you use when you're talking to yourself? I know that might sound crazy, but isn't that what we do? We talk to ourselves all the time. There's this constant chatter that's going on in our minds. And I'm here to tell you today that it's incredibly important that you pay attention to the words that you're thinking, what you're saying to yourself, and definitely what you're speaking. Because there is the power of life or death in your words. As a matter of fact, what you say can either strengthen you or weaken you. And when you're in a weakened state, of course, it's easier for you to then be taken out by a whole host of things. So let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have my handy dandy assistant, my daughter Anna, join me at this time. So Anna, I know that you have no idea what we're about to do, so just go with the flow, okay? Are you left-handed or right-handed? Like what hand is your dominant hand that you use most often? Right-handed. You're right-handed, okay. So what I'm gonna ask you to do, is I'm gonna ask you to put your, your arm out and to hold it up, your, your right arm out and to hold it up as stiff as you can. So, Let's move you this way so that they can see you, right? And all I'm going to do, right, is I'm just going to put two fingers and I'm going to attempt to push your, your arm down. And I want you to resist me, okay? And the rest of you, I want you to just watch this. So, I'm exerting effort here. <laughs> just two fingers. Maybe I need more my whole hand. Let me try my whole hand. Okay. Okay, so you see how much effort that took. If I had more muscles, you would have seen them bulging. Now, what I want you to do is, I know you are a pretty good student. You get really great grades, right? Feel pretty confident about your education and how well you do. Okay, but what I want you to do now is to put out your right hand. And I want you to, no, before you put your right hand out, I want you to say three times, I am a horrible student. I fail everything. I want you to say that three times. I am a horrible student. I fail everything. I am a horrible student. I fail everything. I am a horrible student. I fail everything. Now put your right hand out. Were you resisting me? Yes. Okay, let's try it again. Now ducks with two fingers. Remember the first time around I needed my whole hand to push it down. Okay, and that's with her resisting me. Now I want you to say the reverse because we never want to leave you in a state of weakness, okay? So I want you to say, I am a great student. I excel at everything. I am a great student. I excel at everything. I am a great student. I excel at everything. I am a great student. I excel at everything. Now put your hand up. Okay, I'm gonna try with my whole hand. Okay, I couldn't get it down. Now, have we practiced this before? Yes. When? Um, we did like a family meeting. We did a family meeting and I had you guys do this, right? Did you remember that lesson? Yes. Is that something that you try to use in your life or had you forgotten the lesson? Uh, I remembered it at the last tournament because like I used affirmations before the tournament. Oh, in your last tennis tournament. And you realized that if you spoke positively to yourself, you could actually strengthen yourself. All right, so you can stay with me till I finish this piece. So the point I was trying to make with this is, and you can try this with your own arm, or you can get someone else in, and try this exercise yourself. The words we speak, when she spoke words that um, did not affirm her, that were tearing her down, that actually physically weakened her body. The same thing is happening to your mind. You're weakening your mind. When you speak words that affirm and build you up, you actually strengthen yourself, right? So I want to encourage every single one of you. This is an incredible success tip. Always speak affirming words to yourself. I don't care what the situation is. Let's say you're not feeling well, right? You literally do have a headache, a migraine, you can't open your eyes, whatever. Don't say, I am sick. You weaken yourself. You can say, I don't feel good, or my head hurts. You can be specific about it. You don't have to lie about what you're feeling. 
But when you say, I am sick, it's like you are owning that. You're speaking that sickness into your body. When you are working on something and you're dealing with obstacles, instead of saying, I just can't do this. This is horrible. I'm not good at any of this. Just say, right now, I'm having difficulty with this. That's very different. One is tearing you down. One is speaking specifically to the situation without tearing who, tearing who you are down. Because every time you think or say something negative about yourself, you are tearing yourself down. And in a broken down state, how can you be successful? How can you live your abundant life? So if you want more tips, stay tuned in or contact me for your complimentary consultation, Your Abundant Life Coach. Thank you. Okay.